sheds, windows, and more. Finally, they arrived. A couple of weeks late, but I guess that's the COVID. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> I bypassed all the uh, instruct all the. Uh, I bypassed how I did it. <laughs> And uh, there's two of them. That gives uh, cross breeze or whatever they call it. <clears throat> I put them in upside down because I like the screens to be up in the top like the door screens are in the top so I can't <laughs> can't do it with, with one hand yeah right now now I just need to uh, concern myself with the decorating I bought a new battery <clears throat> bought a new battery and that uh, is the uh, control charger for that I got a fan three uh, USB items bug zapper lights that's all on top of the house uh, the house um, oh plug-in land uh, what do you call it <laughs> the land stuff <clears throat> shore power on top of shore power which is down below there uh, plug out is over here underneath the bed yeah so matter just uh, decorating in here now I don't know what to do to tell you the truth As my igloo cooler I was going to sell, and then uh, I discovered that it fit right there, and I could put a drain, I could put a drain, goes right down outside there, so I could put ice, ice in the cooler. I have a two burner stove there which I don't need because I got the one up there so there we are for now let's hope we can go south this winter and and try this rig out I'm curious to know what I'll <clears throat> get mileage wise and uh, still if there's a design I can do for the front to cut some of the the wind yeah. you can see that pulling that would be quite a bit of drag I'm wondering if there's a way of building a, a frame here maybe come out to a point I gotta do some figuring out about that seems to be an idea it wouldn't take much some one by ones or two by twos and make a little v shape coming out of there i'm gonna do some thinking on her